Welcome to the third solo edition of Beyond the Present Podcast. My name is Daniel Morgan, and today I'm going to talk about the importance of having a long-term mindset to achieve success in any area of life. You see, guys, I'm of a firm conviction that the major difference between those who make it in life and those who break it ultimately comes down to one thing. How far down the road do they think and plan? Because I really believe that what differentiates us humans from animals, no, it is not our emotions. No, it is not love or infatuation or connection or, I don't know, loving others. These are all emotions that exist in animals too. It's also about intellect and, and intelligence because uh, chimps and bonobos are also quite very intelligent. Ultimately, the major difference between humans and animals is that humans can think abstractly about the past and the future. And I myself believe that if you want to build a great life, the kind of life that only a human being who is capable of making his or her life the way he or she wants is to be able to think long term. Because unfortunately, most of us, we are living predominantly either in the present and unfortunately, most often even in the past, both of which are recipes for disaster, for depression, for anxiety, and many other problems. So what can we do to become more human-like and to start thinking long-term? The answer is very simple. Understand that in order for you to be able to have the kind of life that you want, you cannot hope to get lucky. Those who expect things to get better by themselves are like those who go to their garden and say, well, there are a lot of weeds in my garden right now. I sure hope that someday they will die and my garden will be clean again. This is just wishful thinking, nothing more than that. So if you want to be able to have the kind of life that you want, then you need to be able to to design the way you want to live your life, the way you want to have people in your life, the kind of careers you want to have, the kind of people you want to have in your life. And that requires you, the same way an architect designs a building, you want to be able to design your life the way you want. And that is the stuff of long-term thinking. A couple hours ago, one of my friends just uh, sent me a text. He said, Dan, I'm depressed. I got no motivation. And life is just so terrible. Well, why do you think people succumb to depression? Why do you think people just lose that motivation? Because usually in those cases, they have lost sight of their goals in the long term. And because of this, they find themselves disappointed with the obstacles and difficulties and lack of progress in the present moment. And this leads to what? That's right, depression. On the other hand, why is it that some people don't lose that motivation? Why is it that some people just keep pushing forward despite all the obstacles? If Even sometimes they're not making any progress. They're actually going backwards, but they still keep moving forward. Why is that? Because these guys have not lost sight of what's ahead down the line. And today, I'd like to talk a bit more about this issue and how you can actually change your mindset and start thinking long-term. Now, before I actually persuade you, let me ask you one question. Think of your life right now. Think of the decisions you've made in the past 24 hours. How many of those decisions did you make knowing that they are going to harm you down the line? Perhaps today you spend money on things you knew you did not need knowing that that will actually reduce your income or your overall capital in the future. Maybe you perhaps did something or said something knowing that it harms your body. Perhaps you smoked. Perhaps you drank too much. Perhaps you did not take care of yourself. Maybe you were driving without your basically seatbelt. So ultimately, you want to ask yourself, why did I do that? Why did I not take care of my priorities and my values in the present moment? And the answer is very simple. You lost sight of the future. Now, in the modern world, there's this cheesy live in the present moment, be happy, happy kind of you know attitude going on. And the reason is very simple because the people who want you to live in the present moment perpetually oftentimes are the people who will benefit from that. Now, who are these people who benefit from uh, the individuals who want to be happy in the moment? Very simple. The yoga instructors, the self-help gurus who just want you to be in the present moment, especially in their seminars, they're going to pay them a lot of money. A lot of the TV channels, a lot of the entertainers, because if you are living in the present moment, then why should you spend your time focused on yourself, on your life, on your business and make it up something? Why should you do that? Just pay attention to those who want you to live in the present moment and have a good life. 
And ultimately, they get rich, they go up. Guess what? These guys who tell you to live in the present moment, most of them, I know a lot of these people, by the way, they themselves don't live so much in the present moment. I mean, they enjoy the present moment. They are absorbed what they do because they love what they do, right? They love entertaining people, but they themselves don't always live in the present moment. They have very long-term plans and they're working on those plans day in and day out. And you, sorry about that, you are part of their plan. And they just want you to keep spending your money with their yoga courses and with their be in the present moment things. And ultimately they want you to believe that that bullshit is gonna make you happy. Not knowing that in order for you to be happy, you should keep going back to them every single time to say, well, I wanna be in the present moment. Understand this. You don't need anyone to make you happy. No guru, no self-help book, none of these stuff really make you happy. What truly makes you happy is knowing who you are and knowing where you are going. We humans are autotelic by nature. We want to know that our life matters, that we are doing something of value, that our life is going somewhere. And by just being perpetually distracted in the present moment, calling it, oh, I'm just having fun living in the present moment, you might have some relief in terms of how stressed you are by doing so, but I can assure you that in the long run, this will not help you at all to be happy because I know a lot of these people who lived their entire youth in the present moment, and now they're in their late 30s, early 40s, and oops, the reality hits them. Wasted those years, did nothing. Look at my brother, he's doing much better than I do. Look at my sister, she's doing much better than I Look at my friend, look at these people, and they ultimately end up being jealous, being envious, and they end up hating their own lives. So don't be one of these people. And even if you are one of these people, then know that there is a path to change all of this. And that is to start thinking long term. So what is exactly thinking long term? Thinking long term is taking a look at your life in a manner that is strategic in nature. I mean, you have to have strategy. What does it mean to be strategic? Very simple. It means you do not make decisions in the present moment by your emotions. Instead, you make those decisions by knowing the consequences of those decisions in the future. So if you want to get something in the future, let's say you want to start your own business, or perhaps you want to buy something you've always wanted to buy, or perhaps you want to have that world travel you've always wanted. Whatever it is that you want in the future, you have to understand that you need to plan in advance and to think long term, and then based upon that plan, make decisions in the present moment. Ultimately, that's what long-term thinking is all about. To understand the ideal, the vision, the goal that you want to achieve down the line, and then make decisions today based upon that vision and not what is comfortable or easy or fun or somehow seems like you should do it, right? So because of this, If you want to be able to build the kind of life that you want, that you do not have to escape from either, you know, directly by means of narcotics and alcohol abuse and whatever it is, or indirectly by means of negativity, depression, anxiety, because these are all psychosomatic illnesses designed to get you escape your reality. Now you have something to work on, right? You want to instead focus on building a great future. Now, I know a lot of say, But Dan, it's so stressful. I mean, come on, you gotta spend all of your time building a future. What if it doesn't happen? It's so hard. I gotta take a lot of risks. It's gonna be very difficult. Well, guess what? This is exactly what it is. The reason that most people do not want to think long-term is because, well, it's not that easy, especially at first. However, by knowing that in the long-term, you will be able to accomplish something of meaning to you, that is, from my perspective, the ultimate source of lasting motivation. Yes, I can, you know, pump you up and like, yes, you can do this. You can do this. You can, you can try to build your brand up. I'm going to be there. And everyone can be motivated for a couple of seconds, minutes, or even days, (laughs) maybe sometimes weeks. But generally at some point that motivation is going to run out because the only way to have motivation that lasts forever is to be always working on something that is going to make your life better in the future. This is the truth you have not been told in the modern world. Instead, you've been told things like, well, just take it easy, relax, lay back. Life is too short. No, life is not too short. It is true that life is generally shorter than we like it to be, but life is not too short, dude. I mean, take a look at your life right now. You've already, if you're listening to me right now, you're probably in your 20s or 30s. Dude, you've lived for 30 years, for goddamn sake. I mean, that's a lot of years. What have you done with those 30 years? So life isn't necessarily that short. And whenever 
I see people who say things like, well, life is too short. I invariably assume that these guys are living by the life of being perpetually in the present moment, not aware of their future directions and not able to make anything of their lives other than just reacting to things. So either in life, you react to the things that are happening. Oh, the economy is bad. I got no job. Well, nobody else has a job. So who cares? Or you come from a proactive uh, standpoint where you say, doesn't matter what the economy is like, I'm going to create my own life the way I want it. So proactive lifestyle requires you to think long term. Because if you want to build something in the future, whatever it is, it's your brand, it's your education, it's your body, you have to understand that you got to start from today. And you have to make decisions today that will get you there. Because a lot of the decisions you've made today, whatever you did today, probably a lot of those decisions did not help you in any way to achieve the kind of life you want. And because of this, we need to change and shift our gears and start to think long term. Now you're saying, okay, I spent my whole life being either depressed, always think about the past and what I had and how glorious my life was, or I was just having fun. And I define having fun, by the way, because I don't think there's anything wrong with fun per se, but the term having fun, when you're just like, I'm having fun, generally what they mean by that is like, I'm just wasting my time without any aim or purpose. And guess what? We all need to sometimes have fun. I mean, we all need to, you know, let off some steam and rest. But when having fun becomes a way of life, then you can never, ever build a good future. So that's when the balance comes in. That's when you have to actually put in some long-term thinking to adjust your behavior. Yes, maybe coming home and watching YouTube videos all night long is easy, but is that going to help you in the long run? Is it going to change your life? What if you come home and instead you work on your personal brand or perhaps get a new degree? Perhaps you want to actually start a small business on the side. Whatever it is, you want to start thinking long-term. Now, how, how long should you think? Well, this depends on yourself. Generally speaking, long-term thinking can be divided in three categories. Uh, what, the first category is the near future, which comprise of anything that happens within the next year or less. Then we have the uh, midterm, like uh, things that are in the middle, let's say between one to five years, and the distant future, which is about five years to 25 years ahead. Now, I'm not going to try to lecture you on how to think 25 years ahead. That's a little bit too advanced, I guess, especially for the kind of guy who have basically been living in the uh, present moment for most of your life. So you, it's going to be very hard to shift to that you know, vision so early. However, what you can do instead is to start thinking at least for the next 12 months. So right now, ask yourself, what kind of life do you want to have by the end of the next 12 months? Perhaps you are not happy with your income. So how much do you want to increase your income? Perhaps you don't even want to change your career altogether and start a whole new business or maybe get a new job. How about your relationships? Are you happy with the kind of person that you're currently dating? Or maybe you're single and you want to find the right person that you can actually spend the rest of your life with. How about your body? Are you happy with your current level of fitness? Do you think you have some extra fat? How about your energy level? When you wake up in the morning, are you fresh? Maybe you have to actually create a new exercise regimen plus a diet that will allow you to get the maximum energy out of your body. How about the other areas of your life? How about your emotional life? How about your intellectual life? So whatever it is that you want to do with your life, you need to actually ask yourself, what kind of decisions should I make today, whether I feel like it or not, in order to achieve and realize that vision that I want in the next 12 months? Now, I myself, truth be told, I wasn't always a you know, long-term thinker. Now, I was slightly perhaps more into long-term thinking than most of my peers, but generally I still wasn't that much into long-term thinking until actually it hit me that I actually have to take control of my life and to be able to move, move it further down the line. So if you haven't been into this one, just start simple. Just go for the next 12 months. Better yet, go for the next six months. Just by practicing this art and this habit of thinking down the line, whatever it is that you want, whether it's a financial goal or a health goal, or a relationship goal, or whatever it is. And trust me, most of the time, your biggest problems are one of these three. It's either a financial problem or a relationship problem, or ultimately, it's about your health and something that is wrong with your body, your energy, whatever it is. So these three are the most important areas of life. So just ask yourself, what kind of life do I want to have down the line? 
and then start making the right decisions. Perhaps you should put aside, you know, th- those bad junk foods you're eating every single day if you want to be fit. Maybe you have to actually stop wasting so much time on social media and instead you might actually consider running your own business. Perhaps you should actually start to uh, look around for a better partner because you're not happy with your current partner. Or if you're single, maybe you should start actually hitting the streets or whatever it is to find a good mate. Whatever it is you want in the future, you need to start thinking now in the long term in order to be able to make the right decisions today. And guys, it is your choice. You can actually wait for a very long time. And then by then, you'll probably be a lot older and a lot less motivated. So while I do firmly believe that the best time to start is right now, you can still sometimes understand that it's okay to fail. It is okay to uh, waste a lot of your time in the past thinking about things that are not important, living in the present moment and having a good time, or just being depressed because of the things you've lost or you had. Right now, this is the best time. Now, let's be honest. The best time to have started all of this was 20 years ago. And the second best time was 10 years ago. And the third best time was five years ago. And the fourth best time was last year. And the sixth was yesterday. But of course, it's never too late. Even today is a good time to start thinking about building the kind of life that you want for yourself. Because understand this. Whoever you are that you're listening to me right now, you are somebody who is looking for answers. Otherwise, you would not have tuned in and listened to this show. This means you are looking for answer. And trust me, congratulations. You are still ahead of a lot of people who don't even know, who don't even know what they want from life. And they're not even looking for the answer. So number one, I want to say that congratulations. You have found the right calling. You now know that something's wrong. And now you're looking for answers. Number one, keep looking. Don't just listen to me. Keep looking. It's a great journey that you've already started. So keep at it. And number two, start thinking long term. Yes, the best time was yesterday, but today is not too late either. So let's start from today. Think into the future. Ask yourself what you want from your life and start making those decisions from today and apply them no matter how you feel. Basically, that's all the time we have for. I'm really glad that you are here with us. And don't forget that your journey towards personal development has just gotten started. Thank you so much for listening. This is Daniel Mulgan. I wish you guys all the best. 